My name is Diana Wells, and I'm from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. In 1977 and 1978, I had two abortions, and I am here in memory of my children, William and Helen Harlan Wells. Um, I had been a Christian, and I was in a youth ministry, and I began an unhealthy dating pattern, and I became pregnant. I was afraid that I would lose my youth ministry. Um, it's a trap of your own making, but you believe there's nowhere to go. You don't want anyone to know. You don't want to lose everything you have. I, the first abortion was in a clean and sterile environment in a hospital I was put under. I don't remember that one. But I had panic attacks, and I thought, okay, I'm going to keep on the straight and narrow here. But I dated that same man again, and I got pregnant a second time. And the second abortion, again, I didn't want anyone to know. But this time it was in a clinic. And the horror inside these clinics is truly what um, is hard to forget. You hear the sucking machine, and you go in, and you hear that doctor saying, I'm trying to get it all. It. This was my baby, and that was at the moment I knew that I was not just having an abortion. I was getting rid of my baby and it was too late. Immediately then, these symptoms began. I had uh, vomiting and bleeding for many, many weeks. For many, many months, I had infection after infection after infection. I had panic attacks daily. I couldn't sleep. I, I just couldn't eat. I couldn't breathe. I finally had to quit my job. And every night, every night, I had nightmares. And those nightmares were of babies screaming, Mommy, help me. Mommy, help me. And I would wake up, and I would just be shaking in terror. This continued for six years until I asked Christ to forgive me. And then, you know, things got better. But in those six years, I tried to kill myself twice. I was in and out of the psychiatric unit twice. I wanted to die. Thirty years later, I found the website for Silent No More Awareness. And I knew, I knew that if I would give my witness, we don't want other men and women to go through this. This is a horrible way to live. But we're forgiven and set free, and we are silent no more. <laughs> that abortion is death, devastation, and horror. Thank you.